Hello everybody! You are looking at one of the very first bass fishing video games that was ever made. This is called the Black Bass and it was released on the original Nintendo Entertainment System way back in 1988. And we're going to play through this and show you guys what the game's all about. As you can see, the game is actually in tournament format. So there is a time limit, and you're competing with other anglers. And if you do well enough, you actually advance to other lakes in the game. So let's go ahead and dive right into this. This is the very first lake, Lake Amada. We're going to talk about the basics, but mostly also talk about the nostalgia involved with the game. Because if you're my age, and you were into video games, and you were also just starting off with bass fishing, this game had a pretty big impact as far as developing that passion that I have for bass fishing today. So I thought it'd be fun to go back and play through it. So let's find a spot to fish. We'll try this cove right here. Alright, so like I mentioned, the object of the game is to catch as many bass as you can so that you can progress to other lakes in the game. So we'll see if we can attract the fish here. And there we go. Hopefully it's a bass because there are other species of fish in the game. There we go, and it is a bass. Now it becomes pretty straightforward from here, you're just trying to get it back to the boat. A few things to note though, if you see the picture in the bottom left of the fish, you'll notice it seems to be deteriorating. And when you see fish bones, that basically means that the fish is tired out. And at that point it becomes very easy to reel the fish in. Now also, the fish do jump. They can jump and snap your line. They can jump and throw the hook. Also, if you hear a beeping noise... Like that. That's an indication that the line is about to snap. So when that happens, you have to back off a little. Now at this point, it's pretty easy to reel in fish, but as you progress to other lakes and bigger bass, it actually becomes quite challenging. Almost there. There we go, into the net. See how much it weighs. Three and a half pounds, that's pretty good. Alright, so this is the menu you're taken to after each cast. You can do a few different things here. You can change lures. There are six to choose from. There's the pencil bait, which is like a topwater bait. Topwater frog. Shallow runner, which I think is like a shallow running crankbait. Spinner bait. Spoon and a plastic worm. And eventually you have access to all of these baits and three colors of red, blue, and silver. You can also check the conditions at the spot you're fishing. You can check your live well. We have one fish in the boat. Also, there's a password feature in the game where you can keep track of your total career record. You can move spots or you can cast again. We're going to go ahead and change spots. Which, by the way, this is a very cool feature of the game, the fact that you can actually move the boat around. Prior to this, there really wasn't a game where you could do things like move the boat or change lures. So in that regard, for this time period, the game is actually a pretty faithful bass fishing simulation. Let's go ahead and try this spot here, it's usually pretty good. There are actually quite a few factors that come into play as far as attracting fish and getting them to bite. One of them is the retrieve you make. That does make a difference. Also, the color of the lure, the spot you're fishing, weather conditions. All of that comes into play when you're trying to attract bass. There we go. Another bass on the line. See if maybe we can get some jumping action going here. That was one of the best things about this game, is when the fish jumped. Every time it happened, your heart would stop, because 
The line could snap, you might lose the fish. There's a jump. You could be in a really long battle with a gigantic bass. Suddenly it would jump. And that would happen. <laughs> snap the line and be all over. The best part about the game. Alright, I've skipped ahead further in the game. This is the third lake, Lake Moore. Once you rank high enough in the other two lakes, you can progress and there are some uh, really big bass in this lake, so I wanted to show you guys what those look like. The game gets pretty hard at this point. There's one. Nope. There's an example of the fish losing interest. That can happen due to your retrieve or color lure you're using. But they normally come back like that. There we go. Fish on. This is a really big one. These fights can become um, pretty long. So while I'm doing this, I'm going to mention something else about this game that's really cool. Probably the one thing this game is known for is there is actually a classification of bass even bigger than this one. And what's cool about that is for many, many years, I know for me and anybody that played this game, um, always considered that fish to be uncatchable. It was so big that as soon as it hit, it would just take off with your lure and then the line would snap. And for years I thought that it wasn't catchable. But uh, just recently, within like the last year, I figured out the secret to it. There is actually a way to catch those. They aren't impossible to catch. So um, I'm going to actually upload a video of a 23.2 pound bass I caught in this game. So you might want to check that out if you're interested. Oh no! what I'm talking about. You got a long fight going with a big bass and it makes that jump. A lot of times that line will snap. This game just did a, did a great job of um, capturing that feeling of uh, nervousness when you're trying to land that big bass. Almost there. And into the net. This is going to be a pretty big one. Double digit. Twelve and a half pounds. Pretty big. Alright, we're going to go ahead and stop there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I know it's something a little bit different than what we normally do. But if you enjoyed this and uh, you enjoy some of the other hat cam videos, please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.